So you have the Fitbit Inspire 1, 2, or the HR, and you have an issue when you go to the exercise mode run. Once you start, um, once you turn it on, you have an issue where it shows all your stats, but does not show your distance, uh, basically like how many miles you went, and also does not show uh, your pace or average pace, basically uh, your uh, miles per hour. So let's get you up and running right now, okay? So first thing is first, what you wanna do is go to your phone and you wanna to go to your Fitbit app. Mine's right here. And then once you're here, top left-hand side is your avatar, the photo there, you wanna tap on that. And then, now this is an Inspire 2, okay? So you can see Inspire 2 right here. Go ahead and tap on that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way here to the very bottom. It says, remove this Inspire 2, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Remove this Inspire 2, and then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to resync it back. Okay, so now go back to your avatar again. Then we're going to go down to set up a device, and then go ahead and choose. Mine's an Inspire 2, but like I said, this should work the same if you have uh, Inspire uh, 1 or even the uh, Inspire HR. So here's Inspire 1, Inspire HR, but mine's an Inspire 2, so I'm going to tap on that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and tap on setup right here. Let's tap on setup. Scroll down, we're gonna accept this. Okay, now it says go ahead and let it charge. If you're not able to pair without using a charger, then uh, go ahead and use the charger, okay? So I'm just gonna try it this way first. Um, click on next. I have enough battery juice in here. I should be able to connect, we'll see. If not, then I'll use the charger. So give it one second here. Found it, connecting my four digit code which is right here. So mine is 3374, all right? And just let it uh, connect, give it one second. Just felt it vibrate. Okay, now all this is just basically a tutorial. You can skip all this, just keep clicking next through this. And now that we resynced it, or repaired it, okay, click on finish. Okay, now next thing is this. Go to your uh, Fitbit Inspire, and then what we want to do is make sure the GPS is on, okay? So go to your clock face, and then you want to swipe down. We want to go to settings. Down, down, down. Oops. Let's keep going down until you see settings. Down, down. There's settings right here. Let's tap on that. And then let's look for phone GPS, okay? You can see it's off. Now it's on. You want it to um, have it on. Now the next thing is we want to go to our location services. I, I'm using an iPhone here, but if you have an Android, you need to go to your location services. So at least with the iPhone here, we're going to go directly into settings here. Okay, so we're going to go to settings and then we're going to go down to privacy. So scroll down and look for privacy right here. Tap on that and you can see location services on here. Tap on that. You have to make sure that location services is toggled on. And then you want to look for your Fitbit app. Look down here. Everything's in alphabetical order. Here's Fitbit right here. Tap on that. Make sure that it is on always, okay? Don't use while using app. Make sure it, it is on always right there. And then really quickly, just go ahead and uh, make sure that your Bluetooth is on and is connected to your Inspire. So go to your settings. And then uh, we're going to go to Bluetooth. Bluetooth is right here. You can see that mine is toggled on. And let's see, make sure it's connected to my Inspire 2. It says connected right there. So there you go. Go ahead and put your Inspire on. Go for a run. And it should work. Good luck.